First of all, Anna, thank you so much for coming here with me. Um, why don't we start with an introduction? Who are you, Anna? Who am I? <laughs> My name is Anna. I've been in SEED since March uh, 2021, and I've been in the Renaissance Explorers from the very beginning when it was still called Renaissance Architects back in April 2021. So yeah, and now I'm lamplighting the storytelling space in the Renaissance Explorers that officially started in June. Amazing. And what is Renaissance Explorers? How is it born? What, what is it? Mm, beautiful question. <laughs> it's a group of crazy people who got together and decided that exploration is a very important thing. <laughs> and basically, we have this primary goal of um, going over the game guide and making generative changes to the game guide in order to get that ratified by the citizens by the end of this exploration that is set to last for three, four months. And we the purpose here is to decentralize the knowledge and the wisdom contained in that game guide into the whole Seeds community. And we do that through various things, various activities. So what would you say are the main focus points? That you said you do various activities, but what, what would you say are the top two or three um, focus points for the Renaissance Explorers? Mm, I'd say the main one is most definitely going over the four to five sections of the game guide and going over them as a group, as a collective, and trying to harness as much collective intelligence as possible. And then we direct that collective intelligence to the forum that was specifically created for the Renaissance Explorers, where we encourage exploration groups to form and to um, express what they think should be changed and come up with proposals that can actually be applied for those changes into the game guide. And on top of that, we also try to, as much as we can, decentralize that knowledge through coming together in the storytelling space and creating different kinds of media, because we have a lot of very creative people in this beautiful explorers group, and um, focusing our attention on informative media and also very artistic and expressive media. Okay, so you mentioned a forum. Is there a place that I can link people to so that they can access that if they have feedback and, and information that they wanna share with you? Yes, absolutely. There are the already channels that are in the Seeds Discord of the Renaissance Explorers with the main channel, the general one for uh, RE and the uh, inner, outer and storytelling space. And also I'll, I'll link you with the forum. So what is inner space focused on? What is outer space focused on? And you said storytelling is about creative expression on uh, how to work your way through these various parts of the game guide. Is that correct? Yeah, um, so inner space, it all started with this kind of idea of a flow between inner space on Monday, outer space on Tuesday, and storytelling space on Wednesday. And inner space is really that um, space that is created, that kind of field that is created so that we can tap into what wants to be brought into this world, what is calling to be created, so that we're not coming from a place of ego basically and of what we already know exists and trying to apply those changes to the game guide but rather listening into what is calling to to arise and then on tuesday we go to outer space which is very practical very hands-on and very much um we go through each we're going to go through each section of the game guide and either go in breakout rooms or do voting during the sessions to see what the collective intelligence of that group is moving towards and what kind of changes we think are necessary for the game guide. And also very important, those changes coming from the actual understanding of where that game guide, of where that design came from, because that's vital to propose generative changes. And then on Wednesday, we go to the storytelling space where we get together and all of those who are interested in actually decentralizing the wisdom and knowledge or actually expressing themselves 
can come as a group and we either there are some people who are definitely more focused on informative pieces and who want to get very palpable information out there and there are some people who are very much in the creative side which is another way actually of getting the information out there in a more symbolic way so we welcome all of that amazing and we'll put all of those links and hashtags and channels included <laughs> so that everyone can can find that and participate in the way they want thank you so much anna thank you that's lovely over and sprout <laughs> <laughs>